Whatever you want. Well, first of all, hi, hi everybody. Hi. Thank God that I'm seeing you guys. Alberto Roman, uh, as you may know, um, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Roman, uh, nephew, the youngest of my family. Uh, right now I'm living in Costa Rica. I'm, I'm located uh, this uh, international company that I'm doing. A, I was doing a job, a photo job, a photo session shoot. I'm a photographer right now. Uh, I have a major in history, international history. Um, um, what we're doing right now is we're going to have a little conversation about the last earthquake hit Costa Rica last Friday. No, that's the fifth. Uh, Wednesday, yes. The last Wednesday. Wednesday the fifth. Yeah. Can I just ask one favor? Could you turn a sure. light on? It's on. It's on. It's it's your your on. picture suddenly got really dark. Like you're in shadows or something. It looks on for me. Okay. Oh, it does look on. Moving on. No. Oh. It's whatever. on. Okay. It's on. Well, I don't know. This is the conference room, but it's, it's quite... Let me see if I move next to the window. Can you see me better or not? No. Oh, let me, let me see if I can move. Yeah. Oh, that's better. What about now? It's better? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Good to see you. Yeah, the window is right in front of you. Okay. Uh, who am I speaking to? Are you Lisa? Yes. Uh, hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, just to brief you guys, uh, the yeah, the earthquake was on September the 5th, on last Wednesday, uh, around 8, 8.20, 8.20, 8.40 in the morning. Uh, it was a 7.9 density on the Richter, Richter scale, which is actually uh, very considerable. The, the last earthquake that uh, Costa Rica that hit Costa Rica was about three years ago. The famous earthquake of Cinchona, that's the area that it hit three years ago, and it was around 7.6 and on the Richter scale, and he. he, he it hit us pretty much. It was it was actually the damages was considerable, a lot. <laughs> uh, but the 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 particularity of this of this earthquake, the one that hit us last Wednesday, the earthquake of Nicoya, it was that the damages they're not worth so much. I mean, we can see in the photos that there were some damages, especially in all the groups, and the hospital. And Punta Arenas. However, uh, there were not deaths, or they report only one person passed away because of a heart attack. But that's uh, actually the, the, the government of this country is very pleased and very happy that it didn't hit us as much as we could talk. Uh, I was thinking about your questions. I don't know if you want to. Put me the questions on the chat, or if you want to ask me the questions directly, you can do it, guys. Come on, have fun. <laughs> no. Just ran away and they leave their pets and 
on the on the uh, on the cattle and the cows, every all the animals on their farms abandoned abandoned the animals. So we were, I mean, the government right now with this earthquake, it was very concerned to to help or to assist pets and all the farm animals. However, uh, it didn't happen. I mean, no one left his pets away from that alarm. And also, uh, they didn't register any problems in any, what, not in the rainforest on, on, or any national reserve. Everything, according with the government, everything was fine and there's no problems with, <laughs> with the wild flora and fauna of Costa Rica. Can you? So we were reading an article yesterday that was saying that um, it was a test of Costa Ricans' building code, and that the buildings, the building code was kept up so well that you didn't have much damage from buildings, and that's why there weren't many injuries. Is, is that what the same thing you're hearing? Yeah, it's it's true. Uh, let me tell you this: um, most of the constructions in Costa Rica are made by cement, uh, steel, and blocks. So that they're very that actually they're well not for the public. I would say I I hardly say that it's probably an eighty percent of the constructions in this country are, are prepared for a seven point something earthquake. And we didn't we didn't show any major damages. However, uh, there were some problems especially on the one of the church that I sent you a photo, I believe so. Is one of the church near the area of Nicoya. It was actually it was completely destroyed. It was it was, it was not built built properly. I mean, you know what the thing is like. Uh, the, the construction itself was not prepared for an earthquake. Uh, very particular that the colonial church of Nicoya survived to the earthquake. Just minor damages, you know, in the ceiling probably. Mostly and the paint, the the cover of the paint of for walls, but the, the a colonial church over three four hundred years old is still on. Um, first, uh, the only considerable damage was from the Punta Arenas main hospital. That the the whole infrastructure of the building is, is it didn't collapse. However, it has some problems with the structure itself. So there the government decided to, that they're gonna demo, they're gonna turn the, the build down. They're gonna build a new hospital on Punta Arenas. So that's one of the yeah. pictures that you sent us, right? That's the um yeah. because I, I had a specific question about that because we can see where the bricks came off there's steel behind it. Yeah. So it looks like even though the structure was damaged, nobody probably probably nobody got hurt in there. No, especially especially for a hospital. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that's not gonna dare to go there and you know and be attended there. So can, was this the same? I mean, was this the first earthquake that you've been through that no. that has gone through these structural changes, like since the structural the government changes? No, actually, um, around 1940, because most of the constructions in Costa Rica was uh, and the, the first I don't know 20, 30 years of the 1900 from 1900 to 1940, we follow a uh, European model. The old house, you know, two floors high, no buildings, very European. After 1940, uh, Jose Figueres Ferrer, 1940, 1950, Jose Figueres Ferrer, one of our former presidents of Costa Rica, decided that we need to build buildings with steel, cement, that this is a country that we have earthquakes very often. So he decided to change. The, the 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 general infrastructure of the of the of the capital, some of them, and then so on the the rest of the major or larger cities around the central valley start to follow the same the same model. But it was around 1940. What else? It was very European. Only three floors uh, high buildings, uh, houses, nothing nothing bigger than that. And I understand that there's a lot of uh, old buildings, especially in, in 
downtown San Jose, that they have, you know, this, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an engineer, but they have this particular uh, work, some, some particular work on it, that they put the field among their, you know, how to put it on, among their, their walls in order to make it more suitable to, to an earthquake. And this is only in the big cities? What happens in the smaller towns? And the small cities, uh, you know, houses that that they just use uh, cement and steel, they just make a, a very simple model of a house. And, you know, very small houses, but they have, uh, I don't know, how do you call it when they, okay, they put in the wall, but they make a huge hole in front of the, the, the steel in order to grab the the, the wall to the to, to the grid, uh, sorry to the ground. Okay. And they, though it's very cheap, uh, a lot of people. It's kind of like isn't it kind of like rebar that they put in the foundation? But they're making yeah. And the foundations, yeah. They put a lot of effort on the foundations in the house. Even though the house doesn't look, you know, at the end doesn't look pretty, much, uh, pretty enough. Uh, they have a very good foundation. Can we ask about the last picture? The um, it looks like the like the fault line. It, uh, it's like a road. Yes, yeah, it's the one on the road. It's the rural road close to Arin La Volcano. Yes. Oh, I was there. Okay. Well, as you can see in the picture, the Arin La Volcano is in the background. Uh, I don't know if you've been in Costa Rica before, but Pia knows the area. It's very, there's a lot of hills, mm -hmm. and you can see there's a lot of mountains and hills, uh, especially on an earthquake. I'm not an expert, but uh, that's what I said to the most. If you're living, or if your house is in a very dangerous area, that is, that there's a, a, a large possibility that the ground may so just ground. move it because you're in a hill, <laughs> as you can see, the road, it's, it's in the middle of the mountain, so the, the you know how earthquakes works. I mean, they're flakes; they're moving, so the ground are more uh, are more easy to move. I'm shaking all the all the all the road in that area, so that's why it's, it's that's what it looks looks like. However, the government, as, as far as I know, the government did some some I don't know some works there on the on the main. Rural roads, and they haven't they haven't already fixed according with the news. Oh. Actually, that was the news today. That's good. Uh, we had a question about the after effects. Did any? Did you have anything other than earthquakes occurring yeah. because of the earthquake? Okay. Well, let me uh, tell you the experience about the. Well, I was at the supermarket. I actually was telling my friend, Sally. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there was a. Uh, 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 I was driving. I was driving the car, and I was parking right in the parking lot. And as soon as I, I turned the car off, I put the the the, the chip in the key, I think it started shaking. So I was thinking, what's going on? I mean, I just <laughs> I turned off the car. So I don't know why it's still moving. So I told all the people from the supermarket going to the park, no, it's screaming. <laughs> There's a lot of people screaming. <laughs> and everybody was uh, a bit terrified for the for this situation. It's very important that whenever whenever there's an earthquake, you need to first of all remain calm. You're not gonna do anything like Did you hear that he said he turned off his car and his car was still moving? I'm sorry? Everyone was screaming. I'm sorry, go ahead. What's happening? Okay, yes, uh, the earthquake uh, took like 25 seconds long. very, very hard. I mean, it, it was like, the car was like jumping and everybody was running and screaming. Not everybody, but mostly the people at the supermarket. Because it was 8.40 8, 8 in the morning, only, uh, uh, you know, only <laughs> there was a few people in the supermarket that were, were really, really, really scared. And, okay, I get out of the car, I just put myself in the middle of the parking lot. I know nothing is gonna fail for me. So at the end, I walk into 
supermarket. Uh, it was the Auto Mercado Tia. I don't know if you know it. Yes, yeah, yeah, I do. I do remember. Okay. Uh, all the groceries were, I mean, were on the floor. Everything from the shelf just go right into the floor. And it was very funny because I went into the uh, vegetable area and it looked like people were putting, like, I don't know, vegetables and the plastic bags in order to, to take it to, to the counter to the cashier. And they just dropped it and, <laughs> and ran. And the moment that I get to the cashier, I was alone, alone in the entire supermarket. There was a guy who actually was checking for, da for damages and I was asking for a cashier to, you know, to, to deal with it. <laughs> and they were, no, oh, have you seen that there was an earthquake? Come on, it's dangerous. Okay. The main thing here is to, to remain calm. It's very, very important to remain calm in an earthquake. If you start, start spinning, yelling, running without any 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 reason, and you're gonna start making it feel nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Should you also have stayed home afterwards? Like, how long do the aftershocks last? Okay, the aftershocks we call it uh, we call it replicas mm -hmm. in, in Spanish. Um, I didn't feel any of the of the replicas. Uh, most of the people near Nicoya felt all of the replicas, very strong replicas. But um, the well, first of all, after the earthquake, uh, we have no phone connection at all, no cell phones, no landlines, only internet. The internet was fine, so. Uh, we use Facebook a lot in order to check for everybody, relatives. Uh, we check for the house at the beach. So we, call, we were not able to call the, the house at the beach. So I use Skype in order to call uh, the hotel that is close to the house at the beach to ask if everything were fine. So they, <laughs> they felt it. I mean, they, they, they were a little bit nervous, but they, they said they no damages around the beaches. Uh, there was a tsunami, however, uh, and non, a non tsunami hit the coast or the Pacific coast, but there was a tsunami. After an earthquake, we always check first of all where did it hit, and second, if you're closest to the coast, checking for tsunami for any possible tsunami alert. And there were yeah. none with this uh, one? There were none with Canada, too, if you don't mind. Sure. Yeah, we're, so we're in eastern Canada, and we're along the coast as well, uh, but we don't get earth, a lot of earthquakes. In fact, uh, we just we had one minor one last year, but a lot of the kids, we had a discussion yesterday, and they were wondering if you're inside, what's the best thing to do? Uh, you yeah, explained yeah. about being outside, but what about being inside? Well, so, well, far away, you need to move away from the windows. <laughs> Very obvious. I mean, if, if you're close to the window, uh, the window can can crack and all the crashes or you know, all pieces can be yeah, damaged and harm you. Uh, you need to move away from any tall furniture that they may have. Maybe, I don't know, bookshelves or I don't know, cabinets. Uh, you need to move away from anything that you can fell and hit. And put in the middle of the, of the board. How do you call the... the, the Can we ask um, whoever has the dog to please mute the mic? I don't have a dog. <laughs> Could you please mute your mic so we can hear Mr. Roman? I can figure out how to do it, I will, Lisa. Okay. So we want to stay away from door jams, is what you were saying. Yeah. I thought you wanted to stay in the door jam. Isn't that the In door jam, but my, my friend, she's telling me that she's a myth, that probably, I mean, you need to go, well, in Costa Rica, we do that. go to the backyard or go to the front yard. That's calm. If it's checking to, I mean, if the earthquake is too big and it's shaking a lot, and if you're unable to move, because kids, it's possible, I mean, guys, it's, it's, you're not able to move. I mean, you're moving 
<laughs> allow around the ground so that it's, it's not impossible, but it, it, it's hard to move. So you need to like, try to be away from any any tall furniture, away from the windows, and put it in the middle of the door jam. You can do that. That's the most uh, recommended procedure, so nice. My, I would be afraid if I were outside, I would be afraid that I would be stuck in a fissure like the picture you showed. <laughs> no, but if you're outside, let's say in your, back, in your backyard, in your front yard, there's nothing that is going to fall and eat you or harm you in any way. You know what I'm saying? It's like yes. you're afraid for any problem. At least, I don't know, if, if the earthquake is too tremendous, Thank God it never happens. Uh, try to look for a safe area. So it's going to be an open space area. Are most of the deaths and accidents from things falling on you, not from from the earthquake itself, it's from things falling, right? Yeah, exactly. Three years ago, when the last earthquake hit Costa Rica, the, all the people who passed, well, to die, was because uh, these, they were on the road. And these humongous amount of ground, earth, of their paint, <laughs> and just bury them. So that's why the people, most of the people die. Or they remain in their houses, and they know their houses not, they're not very stable for an earthquake. They're not very, I don't know, reliable to hold an earthquake. So they stay in their houses, and the house just fell upon them. Oh. Pedro, I know that um, Alonso works in the Punta Arenas Hospital, doesn't he? Is that the hospital you were talking about where, um, he, where he works? No, Alonso works at Wapitos. He's on the Caribbean coast. Caribbean. So in a, like in a big building like that, like say a hospital. Yep. They do. They just, everyone just has to stay where they are, right? No, they just, uh, they have an, uh, I don't know, evacuation plan, I believe. Okay. But they, yeah, they move away from the hospital. Actually, the hospital is empty. It's completely empty. They're moving all the equipment to the major clinics from the surroundings, from the surrounded, uh, from the surrounded area, and they're thinking about how they're gonna dem uh, demolish them. Is this one now? Yeah. And actually, they are asked a loan to the World Bank, the International Bank. Uh, I believe the bank denied the loan. And the China, the government of China, they're gonna, they just gave up the money to go on your hotel. See? I don't know how much it costs you, costs us in the future. <laughs> but uh, at the beginning of 2020, so they're, they're probably they're gonna start the construction this, uh, at the end of this year or first month next year. Okay. Let's me, let me talk about a little bit about picture, the first picture that says Nicoya Colonial Church. Do you ever see that picture? Yes. Okay, as you can see that, that that's a almost 400 years old church. <laughs> and construction uh, um, was able, was capable to hold the entire earthquake. You can see minor damages uh, of the of the walls just fell down, but that's all. It's a beautiful church. I don't know if you, is my aunt been been there before? Yes, Here. I got there. <laughs> Very good pronunciation of aunt. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like just a little part of the ceiling. Yeah, just, it, it doesn't have a ceiling. That, that, I don't know, that part of cement, that floor, is the cover because the wall, the wall of the church is not made, it's, uh, it's not bricks. It's something that uh, called a uh, alloy. Okay. It's like it's plastic. Plastic. Yeah. plastic. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> what was that, Mrs. Roman? What is it like? Yeah. It's like plaster. It's, it's alloy, but it's like put on like plaster. So wouldn't that get destroyed really easily in an earthquake? It's like you know, the, 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 the like the top layer comes off, but the bottom doesn't. 
Ah. It's because of that, yes. The walls are, I don't know, like 20 inches, I believe more, 30, 30 inches. Uh, they, they so that's why it holds, it holds the entire airway. Yeah, it's impossible to turn it down. <laughs> well, it's not impossible, but it's very, it's hard to turn it down. And the church is beautiful. It's one of our main uh, attractions on Nicoya. And there are people who can marry, uh, attend the church in that, in that building. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. Okay, we can see the other picture. Well, uh, we can see the Punta Arenas Hospital. It's actually a building before. It's, it's not working anymore. Uh, there's some local meat markets that they're very straight. Well, not destroyed that all the groceries were on the floor, and we can see a lady still doing their shopping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the main cover of the one of the main newspapers of Costa Rica. Put in the uh, 7.6 made only minor damages. See minor damages. One, this church is very very small church on the cover on the front page that it got completely destroyed. But it's not then uh, it's, it's not relief then no one or at least no one got injured or died because of this. As I said before, we have the, the newspapers and the government reports one person passed away, a sixty five year old lady who had a heart attack because she got into panic and in, in her heart getting stuck. Now, checking on the questions uh, up here, uh, the Kinect school then uh, um, I think you've done a really nice job answering questions. Are there any are final there, questions uh, here? Well, I, I don't live in Nicoya. <laughs> I don't. I live about five hours away from Nicoya. I live in Moravia. It's in Central Valley, very close to the capital. My own city, not my house. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you ever been in Costa Rica before? I have. Oh really? Yeah, I know. Matt, Mr. McGuire has been as well. I was actually at that volcano, the Arenal volcano. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, nobody lives near. <clears throat> nope. On my way out of the uh, of San Jose, Beto, uh, there was um, a lot of smoke billowing from, I believe, that volcano when I was leaving this summer about three weeks ago. Through from Arenal volcano? Well, no, I, I'm not sure if it was uh, Arenal, yeah. but uh, when we were leaving San Jose, the, the uh, taxi driver pointed out to us uh, a volcano that was smoldering and smoking from uh, we can see it from San Jose. Yeah. If you were moving to, if you were moving to, to the airport, you can see the Turrialba on the on yes. the highway. So that was, that was probably Turrialba. That was the one, yeah. Okay. Very cool. It's very very cool actually. <laughs> Not for the people who live close to the volcano, but that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay. Just one moment. One second. Yeah. The kids were also we were talking yesterday about the connection between earthquakes and volcanoes and why they're a lot of times in the same place. Yes, well, another as I said before, I'm not an expert, but I know that okay, earthquakes are the movement, the movement of you know these massive pieces of of land. The, uh, the, uh, I mean, right, right, right below us. So the all these matna matna how do you call it matna 
Ja, ja, de baba, dat, uh, wel, zie, dat, uh, ja, de die, die is gelijk taart, <laughs> of lava, private lovers, and now hundreds of meters under, under the, under the surface, under, under, under the surface, uh, they're, they're, they're getting affected because of this, of these earthquakes. Sometimes they're making the volcanoes go back, go back, the active again. Sometimes it doesn't. So I've done before, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I know it has a very close relation between the earthquakes and volcanoes. Of course, if a volcano explodes, and then, uh, <laughs> if it explodes, all the areas around the volcano is going to shake. But see, there's a considerable amount of power yes. moving at that, at that moment that is, that is going to eventually gonna affect the other areas. I'm checking. Okay, I'm checking some of the questions. How long is this? Thank you so much. Okay. We Thank actually, you. I think we actually have to say goodbye. Um, and I'm running the call. <laughs> <laughs> But I want to just thank you so, so much. You gave us some really, really great information. And we are going to be studying earthquakes and volcanoes and all kinds of other natural disasters. So this was a really great start for it. I, I recorded it, and I'm going to put the recording on um, the wiki that we created. So is that okay with you if we... Absolutely. I have no problem with that. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.